If they have a new category in the Academy, I haven't had a lot of nominations, you know. If they would just, uh, if they would get a category for the best performance by an actor in a car in midair. You know, that's, that's not a big I'd have a hell of a shot. <laughs> Jackie Chan is one of the greatest entertainers that has ever lived. He likes to do the impossible. I can't hold that anymore! Just hang on, man. I'll be right back. Jackie Chan is more than an actor, more than a superstar. Jackie Chan is like a force of nature that's been entertaining the whole planet for decades now. I think what's special about his early life is how horrible everything was. His parents were so poor, they almost sold him in the hospital. And then he was actually sold at the age of seven to a Chinese opera school into a kind of indentured servitude. You didn't have much of a basic education. You just learned how to flip, how to kick, how to use weapons, how to sing, how to act. The Peking Opera School, <laughs> you create Jackie Chan, you create Sammo Hung. There are all these great artisans that came out of it. When we first start, we are just stunned. We hope someday we can be an actor. We have a no special effect. We have to do every stunt ourselves. So we use our body to express our vision. That is the Hong Kong way. First movie he had done as, as a stuntman was Enter the Dragon. Bruce Lee snapped his neck. Bruce Lee transformed the industry because he dominated as this new king of action. And then almost as quickly as he'd come, he was gone. His figure loomed so large that you couldn't, after his untimely death, replace him. So what Jackie did was say, OK, I'm going to go in a different direction. I'm going to be comedic. Hey! The real breakout movies were Drunken Master I'm drunk. and Snake vs. Eagle Shadow. You just saw his choreographic brilliance. You have to talk about Jackie Chan the same way you talk about Gene Kelly or Donald O'Connor. When you look at the films of Jackie Chan, the influences that come to mind would be the great silent comedians, Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, because they told stories the way Jackie does, with physicality, without excessive amounts of dialogue, and normally with an underdog hero who's surviving in an oppressive world. The stunt where he falls off the clock tower, that was something that really was groundbreaking because up till then, the physicality of Hong Kong film had been martial arts fighting on the ground. Jackie was like, okay, I need to go a step beyond. There's a great bit where he's doing a bit with a step ladder and you know, the ladder's you know, collapsing and one time he gets his fingers caught. These guys literally bled for the movies. The stunts that really blew me away, the whole ending of Police Story. And the slide down the pole is dangerous enough. The actual dangerous bit is the leap from where he's standing onto the pole to slide down. They just put their lives in danger all the time, which is where you end up with the outtakes at the end of the films where you see sometimes really tragic results where all of a sudden you see Jackie and his head busted open. You see Jackie in a neck brace. You see Jackie coming out of the hospital. The cameraman, Jackie, your legs okay. I don't worry about me. How's, how's the shot? I got the shot. Okay, pack. I what, put what, it back. What do you mean you put it back? I just, <laughs> pack. Us fools, we've been wasting all this time on orthoscopic surgery. <laughs> Jackie Chan is a master filmmaker. He's an editor, he's a director, he's a stunt coordinator, he's a stunt director, he's an actor, he's a producer, 
He could do every single job of any person on the crew. What Jackie does that I think is important is he gives hope. He's a guy who came from nothing to become what he is today. He's somebody whose character in the movies doesn't have the advantages of wealth or education. He has courage, he has integrity, he has just sheer will, and he overcomes. One, two, three. Yeah! Don't worry, Chinese bamboo is very strong. <laughs> Jackie has probably made more movies than anyone in the history of the world. He was the voice in our animated film, Kung Fu Panda 1, 2, and 3. And Monkey is just a fun character. Monkey! In animation, we aspire to be able to do what he did physically. He has way more guts than we do. <laughs>